Have you ever been wondering how to learn scales without actually learning them? Me neither, but I was thinking of actually being able to create chords and melodies in a particular scale without doing anything that costs me energy. Listen, I'm a lazy guy. I love shortcuts. And there's one for creating scales. All you'll have to remember is a couple of numbers. Nothing difficult. So let's head over to the Ableton and I'm going to show you a little trick. So first of all, let's start from creating the most popular scale, which is C major scale. All the white keys starting on C, even kids know that and it sounds like that. Very simple, very popular, like it's the most basic scale ever. So let's take a look at the scale and what keys does this have. So I'm gonna start on C, I'm gonna put all the notes on the white keys and I'm gonna finish this on C which is an octave and that's our C major scale. From this point you can go in like two directions. You can count the spacing or you can transpose that into another octave. So let's say you want a D sharp major scale and you don't know actually what keys does the D sharp major has. So all you have to do is just highlight that and move to D sharp. And now we have D sharp major scale. Another way is that you can count spacing. As you can see, it's one, one, two. Um, you have one note, one space, one note, one space, two notes, one space, and it repeats one, one, two. And all you have to remember is these three numbers, or six, one, one, two, one, one, two. And between these numbers, you have to put a one semitone of space. So very simple. Let's say we want a G sharp major scale. So I'm going to put the first note on G sharp and a second note, as you remember, it was one, one, two. So we have to do one semitone of space and again, one semitone of space, two notes because one, one, two, and then it repeats. So we can actually copy this over here. And then from this point, you can go highlight everything, copy up and down. And in Ableton, there's this function where you can fold uh, the keys. So as I click this fold button, as you can hear, it folded all the keys that we have put into a piano roll. So now the piano roll does not consist any other notes than the notes from this scale, which is a G sharp major scale. What you can do right now is to take all of these notes and shift a little bit to the left. So you won't hear them and you won't even see them. You can disable them by clicking zero on your keyboard and you have the G sharp major scale. And now you can create chords here. Very, very simple. Seventh chord, ninth chord, 11th, 13th. So the minor scale, if you start on A, it's gonna have all the white keys. So it's gonna be pretty simple to write this down. Um, so as we start on A, that's an A minor scale. But as you can see, it has a different spacing and a, and a different amount of notes between that one semitone of space. So it's a little bit different. It's a little bit harder to remember because it's one, two, one, two, one, one. It's not repeating here, maybe a little bit. So um, to just practice, let's create this minor scale on, for example, D sharp note. So it is going to be starting on D and then we have one semitone of space, two notes, one semitone of space, um, or one line of space, you can call it as you want. And then we have two notes and one semitone of space, one note and one semitone of space and one note. And that's our minor scale. D sharp minor scale. So now you can do the same thing. You can just copy this over here. I'm, I highlighted that and I'm copying while holding control. It's gonna just make a copy of this. And you fold that you shift that to the left, deactivate, and you have a D sharp minor scale over there that you can start on creating melodies and chords. And there's a lot of other scales. 
I'm not gonna mention that because major and minor scale are the simplest case and the most basic. But if you want to like, create different scales, you can also Google how much spaces do they have or you can figure out by yourself. And basically you can save the MIDI clip if you want. You can just go export MIDI clip and it's gonna export probably these notes as well. So every time you want a certain scale, you just go to your library and you put a MIDI clip into your MIDI track and you basically have a scale. Simple. So that's it for this video. I hope you like it. So uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below and see you in the next one.